Chocolate is bad for cats, dogs, and humans. The amount you have to ingest before you die is given as a lethal dose. That means half of the population dies when you give them this amount per milligram of kilogram body weight. This means for cats with an average of four kilograms, half of them would be dead if you gave them one more of chocolate. For dogs, this is much more difficult because dogs are so differently sized. We have five to 70 kilograms, depending on the dog's breed, which translates to roughly uh, five to 76 chocolate bars, which sounds like a lot, right? The problem is twofold. So the lethal dose describes when half of the population would die. This does not mean that no one would die before. So for dogs, for example, we have documented cases where less than a third of the lethal dose led to death, which for a small dog would already be like just one piece of chocolate. Also take into account that I used milk chocolate bars for all the numbers I have given. If you use wheat and dark chocolate, the danger would be double. And for really dark chocolate, 80% and up, the danger would be triple. Differently than dogs and cats, humans can process theobromin at a much better rate. You have to eat about 20 kilograms for an average person. You'd explode before or puke all day long before you manage to ingest 20 kilograms in one day. That's why we don't have documented reports of humans dying to chocolate.